Welcome back to another episode of uh, Xenonauts campaign. We are at another town UFO which Sangnif says uh, we should visit in order to get all the alloys and I guess Illyrium equivalent that we can get. Alright. I should probably bomb about half the down UFOs. So maybe what we'll start doing... Oh, good thing we put the tank in front. I love it. Maybe what we'll start doing is uh, choosing the targets that we think will have more things and then just destroying them. We take a lot of shots at this thing, deal nothing, makes us very sad, but we can ask Ika to come over here and take care of it. Hopefully we don't get shot again. Doesn't happen. Good. Beautiful shotgun shot to the face. Enemy is killed. We explore a little bit around. Bulletproof cactus. Yeah, that took a lot to kill. Thankfully it is daytime, which means uh, less surprises than usual. I'm not gonna say we're not gonna get randomly shot. Uh, but it just may happen. We examine behind the rocks. We examine over here. We... Gika cannot move. We get closer to other buildings. We see military units, which means this should be doable. Oh, Jens, do you have a decent chance to hit this? You can shoot twice. 32 chance to hit. Take shot one, lower the cactus because obviously it was getting in the way. Shot number two, right to... I'm gonna say the head, even though we cannot prove this. Looks really good. New gens is uh, better and improved. In the meantime, we move around. Can we take one shot? Uh, yes. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you very much, Private. You did a good job. We passed the turn. Two enemies already down. And uh, if we're lucky, those military units will be at least telling us where the enemy is. Uh, I'm a little bit scared to stay in the open, so I'm gonna first continue exploring and then decide if I want to go back into the tiny house. Maps are super open nowadays. Okay, nothing over there. That was a kill steal. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Jens. You didn't hit a headshot, man. What can I do? Ika, um, I want you to stay safe. Examine if there's anything around here. Um, I'll make you crouch because I'm scared about losing you. The car, the car cannot cannot get anywhere because this unit exists. Is that the reason? Is it because there's a post over here? Do we have to nuke this whole place for you to move car? Uh, Sanglif, in your experience, are cars even worth it? Because sometimes I encounter more problems than uh, advantages. However, it seems like running over the cactus seems to be one of the strengths of the car. So we utilize this to open the way for Jens to get behind the car. We move like a, an armored unit on the second wall wall, which is kind of fitting because this is supposed to be set a little bit after the, cold, the second war. We hide inside the house and uh, Later upgrades are worth it. Okay, so I guess it's good that we started already the movement of getting the car. However, maybe if we go to insane, we don't do it in this order, since it delayed all other technologies for quite a bit. Car goes forward, will tell us if there's anything to be afraid of. Currently, we have reached three of the corners of the map, which is always good in a game like this. And uh, I really feel a little bit afraid of just running towards the UFO. 
without using the car. So I'm gonna take it easy, find pathways that don't expose us horribly. Excellent. So we spotted someone. There's an alien over there. Jens, you do the honors. Ah, you get again blocked by tiny things. I think at this point the game is a little bit too old, so I think it goes under the radar of a lot of people. Is it even worth to shoot? I really don't think so. But my problem is I really need this thing dead before I move on. No, you know what? There are no turn timers and if there's something we were complaining about in XCOM were turn timers. So let's take it easy, make sure that our units are safe because we keep losing them and we should learn to not lose them. The question is can I get here in time? The answer is yes. I believe that's enough. One, two, you have done the best you could. On insane, I would advise against pursuing vehicles at all. Okay, they take up precious research and manufacturing time and require resources you won't have. That makes perfect sense. Uh, right now, I think we have a few too many resources because we kept going for all the missions. But we will have to learn to see if this is the way to go. The enemy have retreated back to the ship. Well, at least this is what I'm guessing right now. So we will take it easy as well. Check that there's no one sneaking around, hiding behind something. Like we are. <laughs> um, is, is that a machine gun? Okay, we'll, we'll accept the graphics as they are. And we'll station ourselves behind this cute thingy. We'll ask Giga to go around the back. Position himself like that. Uh, Jens, that's a little tricky. Let's keep you one tile behind line of sight. It's actually a turn timer. After 22 turns, both the aliens and you get 100% vision. Wow. Wow, that's insane. I wish I wish I could do that from the beginning. I think I think I would like that from the beginning. Should I pass 22 turns in the ship? Is, is that a thing? Um we run to the side of the ship, the door opens, the tank gets shot at. Oh, takes decent damage. One time. Not two times. If you occupy the UFO for five turns, you win. Yes, I have learned about this one. But I always find that the enemies are usually at the UFO themselves. So there's that thing. I have to admit though, Ah, they closed the door. That's very smart of them. How can we do this? Can the car open the door or will this be a complete disaster if I send him in? Open the door. Run away. That's good. Shoot at the middle guy. Hit two of them. Shoot again. We even suppress. <laughs> we even suppress Gika, and I totally understand because he just heard twenty shots fire in his proximity. <laughs> I would also be afraid, Gika. Don't be, don't be sad about it. Uh, Jens, can you sneak in one shot? Nice. Good job, Jens. And finally, oh, I guess we can move to the side. No, this is a shotgun, don't do it. Don't do it. Okay. We can try to get here. Oh god, that's horrible. 
and uh, 12 percent is that a thing ah 14 percent much better <laughs> okay at least all of them are suppressed and we can leave this unit in case do we really because we could take it to the side Block. Fair enough. We hide. And uh Oh, where are you going, buddy? Just just here. Cover Geekas back. Who understandably is afraid of what just happened. In the meantime Move over here. Check this shot. Of course. And uh, hey, we have enough for a snap, but then we are out on, in the open, and uh, let's not do that. So we pass the turn. The thing moves, it also regenerates. Is that what happened? Alright. Uh, Giga is suppressed, so we won't ask him to do the honors again. And this unit is pretty slow, so he will be able to open and uh, shoot, and nothing else. Okay, that's good enough for us. It's also good enough for the alien. That was a nice kill. And in the meantime, we start storming in. Um, Jens, let's get you in prime position. Well, the next round where maybe we take uh, some good fire and uh, I would like to see if the car can offer you a nice shielding that can move in the next turn so actually maybe better yeah there we go so Jens is now protected by a full tank I think that's very decent we can give him a tiny escort a spotter and then with this unit, we just rush forward. Pretend that we are going to join the battle with everyone. Enemy unit moves forward. Calls the friend. The friend does nothing. And again, we keep hearing movement. A little bit of a mistake there from the game. We open the door. And we will let this private gain some experience by shooting this thing that good. Second private, we ask you to move forward. We find the enemy. The enemy can get shot. One. Nice. Return fire misses. So let's move aside. And as promised, we open the path for Jens. Oh god, that 50. Um what do we take? One aimed and one snap? Well, we cannot do that. Okay, so we take two mediums. The billions have infra vision, so they're immune to smoke, and they regenerate about 33% of their health per turn. Are you sure that the community patch is installed correctly? It should fix the footstep back. Well, that's a very good question. Jens, new Jens, is amazing. A good job. Ah, you're even injured for some reason. Uh, you've been promoted to captain, and uh, Ika has also been promoted to captain. That's pretty good. Our viewers are growing. Uh, we continue gathering a lot of allo alloys and some aluminium, and apparently this will be important. And uh, ah, wait, yes, we can do two missions in a row. Let's do it. We're ready to begin a mission, and uh, since I promised, I will cut the stream for 5 seconds and I'll be right back. <laughs> 